This is a video reflection on how BTS have altered my brain chemistry. I'm going to share how it happened, changes in my habits because of this, and what I'm doing going forward. My name is Anne. I am currently 36 at the time of filming this video. I have been heavily into BTS for about a year and a half now. I found out about them back in December of 2021. It's like everyone else, at first you just want to know their names and then one thing you know you're down this rabbit hole i just want to caveat this video that these are my own reflections based on the experiences that i've had i do believe that it's important to have like a reflecting period to kind of think about the changes in your life i'm kind of using this time to see if what i'm currently doing right now is still aligned with the values that i have you know set for myself goes without saying but i'm gonna say it anyway that i am not not blaming bts for my actions and for all these changes you know i did the things i made the choices i had really poor boundaries that i've set for myself so it's me hi i'm the problem it's me <laughs> I mentioned this in a prior vlog where I was just feeling exhausted with over consuming their content and just consumerism in general with you know the merch that has been released for like you know within like the last year I kind of understand it from a business standpoint they were just kind of gearing for their military leave so I get it they're trying to get the bag <laughs> but I also have to think about my own bag at this point I still love BTS they are a big inspiration for me and just like the work they've done how they've impacted the Asian community they have just done so much work so I appreciate them for that as well as you know their music I love you know their music they're the reason why I want to learn Korean although that hasn't been happening lately because I have been consumed by other things. I'm mainly highlighting the unhealthy sides that I've picked up of being part of this fandom. Part of it is somewhat part of the culture too as well. Maybe we're not talking about it enough, so I'm kind of just bringing the conversation out there. So please sound off on the comments. Please be nice. Please don't come for my neck. <laughs> Again, this is just like my personal experience. This is just kind of me evaluating where I am in life. I'm noticing the bad habits that I've picked up and I want to kind of nip them in the bud before it gets toxic. I feel like this is my first step in trying to have a better relationship, you know, with the fandom culture and also just really appreciating BTS's work for what it is and you know, that's it. How did it happen? So just a quick backstory. I found out about BTS back in December of 2021 and this was like kind of around the time where you know, things were starting to ease up after like, you know, the whole panini and I was still at the time like not really feeling comfortable um, going out, like being in like public places. This was right after BTS was in LA for their Permission to Dance concert. First major concert that had happened here in LA after you know like lockdowns and stuff so it was it was like a really big deal I was not on social media at the time I was off social media for like 10 months so I didn't know this was like going on an old friend of mine had sent a video link of one of their videos she was seeing stories uploaded by people who have attended the concert and you know she said oh like this looks fun and I love going to concerts but I just haven't like I was not comfortable at that time to like go to any concert so she knew that I was like you know okay I'll check them out and you know how that goes you want to know their name and then one thing you know you're watching all the content that they have produced since they had debuted and there's a lot and at the time it was also uh our company shut down the week between christmas and new year's off and i at the time i had i had a lot of time in my hands like i wasn't working on any projects at home so basically me going down the rabbit hole was my hobby during that time and you know what it stuck this was also around the time where i was dating talking whatever for about a month but obviously it didn't go anywhere and I was kind of, I guess in a way, I, I was feeling a little bit lonely and I kind of didn't know what to do. Like things were opening back up to normal so I didn't know who I was like outside the four walls of my, my, um, my place. Me finding BTS was kind of like this whole new world that I didn't know existed so then I got really, you know, I got very excited. Because of that, I ended up 
going back on social media so i started my instagram back up again because i really wanted to just connect with other people who who are part of the fandom and what better way to do that was you know through instagram and i also ended up opening up my tiktok account which i had deleted like back in 2020 because that was also like a time suck for me i wasn't getting any value from this so i i had to like cut it off in my life but then i brought it back up because i had like the need to connect with other people who are also interested in the fandom and i didn't realize how big it was until i was like in the thick of it like there are so many people who are you know part of the fandom and i think it's great because i've met so many people and i've you know became friends with some of them you have so much content and you just see like these seven men exist they're so wholesome and you're you're just like so enamored by them because of the qualities that you know that you see uh, online i was also feeling very lonely because i've kind of isolated myself and i was just really trying to find some sort of connection with someone to me like the whole fandom bts itself like it was kind of filling the void that i had at the time so it was like the perfect recipe that made this whole thing like really stuck with me i'm probably quoting this incorrectly but they're saying that bts finds you when you needed them the most so it was that was the perfect time for me <laughs> so prior to this i was journaling i was exercising regularly when i really got into the thick of it my good habits became an afterthought these were kind of like the bad habits that i picked up number one i really relapsed on my social media addiction i was just over consuming their content i was trying to be the first to know everything i don't know what was my obsession with like being the first one to relay a message or like oh my god look what i found kind of thing aside from the content that they have produced there's just like so many edits that the fandom has created and they're so funny sometimes they're just like relatable tiktok for me was like the most dangerous because you know you think you're scrolling for 15 minutes but then you realize it's dark outside and it's been five hours you're on the couch scrolling through a piece of glass but it's also like i'm trying to see like oh what else can i see like what else what other funny things can i watch just me not having like a clear boundary okay i'm allowing myself like an hour to mindlessly scroll before i found bts i was off social media for 10 months like i was not on instagram i was not posting i was doing something else like we talk about substance um addiction a lot but we don't really talk about social media addiction it's almost normalized because everyone has a phone it's kind of like part of like the culture i guess that oh yeah it's, that's what you do on your downtime me being addicted to social media again like i found myself really overstimulated and anxious because i'm always like trying to anticipate what's going to be next so my second unhealthy habit that i have picked up my overconsumption of merch if you watched like my first few videos on this channel um, even my last few videos of my old channel i was really trying to adapt into this minimalism lifestyle minimalism or like intentionalism essentialism kind of thing coming from like the whole beauty guru fashion era of like the 2010 we had collected makeup at the time which was silly to think about it now because makeup expires and just going through the whole decluttering process of like my makeup items my makeup skincare stuff i should have known better about collecting merch so i really got into collecting merch but for me i had told myself like i don't want to have a collection of anything anymore i realized i've been on this earth for like what 36 years now any collections that i've had in the past i've had to get rid of decluttered at some point in my life it just didn't make sense for me to collect merch in hindsight but i really got into photo cards these pieces of paper meant so much to me at one point i see the appeal and the value that they have you know when you buy an album and you pull your bias which is your favorite member like you just get the thrill from that because you don't know what you're gonna get it's like a really big hit of dopamine rush 
and for a while I was pretty good about pulling my bias <laughs> I am glad that I didn't get into it where I would buy multiple copies of the same version the boundary that I did set for myself when it comes to like album whoever I pull for that album is the only copy that I'll, I'll buy like I, I cannot have multiple multiple albums because one I, I live in a fairly small um, apartment I don't have the space for it it's also very wasteful <laughs> whole it's like a whole packaging and me scrolling on social media really amplified that urge to like have that merch or whatever be because I see like the unboxings and it's not judging you if you have a photo card collection but just for the type of lifestyle that I want for myself it just doesn't make sense for me to have all these merch at my place for the amount of money that I've spent on um, BTS merch by the way I have an Excel spreadsheet where I track all my expenses and it was like a sobering <laughs> it was a sobering thought when I saw the total that could have been like a vacation somewhere I just take it as like a very expensive lesson I actually stopped spending money on merch um, after I had traveled to Korea because while I was like you know traveling I was like I just I just want to do this over consuming on items that they're releasing was sort of me trying to look for validation online that I was on TikTok and I would post these unboxing videos and I was getting really good views on them so I was like oh my god like if I keep doing these unboxing videos I, I can create like a following not like you have to but I felt like the need that I needed to keep up with you know the latest merch drop I also found that as a way to connect with other people my justification for for buying merch was like hey I didn't shop for two years when you know the whole world was on lockdown so this is kind of like a treat for myself looking back I I went overboard I spent almost like I would say over five grand on <laughs> BTS merch I would like to think that that's not too bad compared to other people but you know why am I comparing myself to other people that is pretty bad for my standards that is not a flex because I could have used that money to for something else I have like the privilege of having disposable income I don't have any kids um, I'm only really supporting myself so and Lionel I feel like me buying like over consuming on merch is just kind of contributing to the problem I'm not saying like don't buy nice things but you know buy it within reason so the third bad habit that i picked up from this was i stopped minding my own business i was really into finding out what was their next um release and what are they doing what are they eating when are they going on live there was a point where i would rather lose sleep to catch their um live and like stay there even though i had no idea what they're saying like like was I okay? <laughs> a sense of feeling of really bad FOMO for me because I felt like I had to know what they're up to constantly. Like just like in um, like some conversations like, oh, or like the stuff that I see online. Oh, what do you mean that you didn't know about that? That's like common knowledge kind of vibe kind of thing. Maybe that is like my own projection. One of the things that I said that I wouldn't stop doing when I started my minimalism journey was I was going to stop talking about people, like basically gossiping. I know like they're celebrities or whatever, but I just kind of feel like it's still not in my place to be talking about them, like making assumptions of who they are as a person based on what I'm seeing online. Because for all I know, it could all be an act. I don't know them personally, like I've never like spoken to any of them when they do go on live like i have no idea what they're talking about because i don't know their language maybe it's never gonna reach their ears like it's just unfair for me to be um, making assumptions of like oh this is probably what they meant by that kind of thing it's one thing if they're obviously committing crimes or like doing something terrible then yeah call them out for me to be participating on assuming on what they're thinking or what they're doing it's just not also like a good use of my time I should be reflecting more on myself than like trying to reflect on someone else's behalf whoever is like the psychological person like in the k-pop industry like their marketing person they figured it out they have tapped in to the psyche of people to know like 
what would stick what would make us like obsessed over these people who are also humans but we put them in like such a pedestal so what am i doing going forward i have been implementing some of these like for the past few weeks now i've been really trying to make an effort to reverse the bad habits that i picked up so that i could still in, like enjoy being in the fandom in like a healthier way i, I don't want to have to hit rock bottom whatever rock bottom is for me to realize like i have let myself go so i started focusing on going on hikes going on regular walks i've actually really enjoyed going on walks after work it helps me clear my mind being outside you know touch some grass get in touch with reality sometimes you get really consumed with the online world that we either lost track of time or we just lose like any sense of reality it's fine to be the lulu as long as you're not hurting anyone also but as, as long as you're doing it in a healthy way however that is i've been also really enjoying going on solo dates it just gives me like the time to spend with myself you know i'd like going to coffee shops and just like sitting in silence <laughs> like i don't have to be always like talking to anyone maybe that's like the introvert in me too and i also started like exploring new museums at first like i was doing it because i was copying namjoon so there's like this saying that it's called namjooning when you go hiking or going to a museum so i i think that's great that they are promoting these types of activities like going to museums like that's like a good activity for your brain just like like seeing artwork and like appreciating it for what it is I also had deleted tiktok a while back i think i deleted it around september i deleted it before i went to korea because i was just like i need to focus on planning my trip and it is sucking my time right now so i had deleted tiktok i still need to delete my account which i will do eventually i've also temporarily deleted instagram off my phone i didn't delete my account i don't think i'm gonna delete my account to be honest i just deleted it off my phone to create some friction because i find myself picking up my phone all the time so that i am not spending my time scrolling on reels so it's almost like reels had replaced tiktok for me because it's still a form of you know short form content when i do spend too much time scrolling on uh, short form content i just get really exhausted i just don't want to do anything my brain just get overstimulated with all these like little bits of information that i've absorbed that and then i had like really no break in between i think that's part of like why i recently been like super anxious about things allowing myself to go on instagram to on like my desktop uh, if I'm gonna upload a reel or um, to share like content that I've created on YouTube, I have to do it through my desktop. I'm trying to limit my short form content exposure because that really for me is like a slot machine because I am trying to find like the next funny meme that I can share. I also have turned off my Twitter and Weverse notifications. Weverse is the app the K-pop idols update um, their fans. So that's also like a place where you can um, find out when they're going on tour or like if they have like a new merch dropping or if they go uh, on live I turned it off because I don't have to know everything and to be honest I think it's kind of odd if I know too much of someone who didn't really tell me that information specifically like I understand that they create content you know for entertainment kind of going back to like analyzing every little thing that they're doing is just it's not my place <laughs> at one point i was you know trying to buy the stuff that they're wearing because i was like oh that looks really cool and then i realized we are not on the same tax bracket i mean that's okay realizing that it's okay not to keep up with everything also no longer buying merch so for a while that is that has been one of my weaknesses especially like pulling the photo cards from the album i just get like this big boost of serotonin and dopamine or whatever when i pull my my bias my favorite member of the group so anything that has their face or any items that they're promoting i am not buying them anymore for the rest of the year i've been better about birch uh for the first half of the year i almost kind of fell off 
um, when Yoongi went on tour because you know I was like oh my god I need merch that was kind of like the last of it I know Jungkook is releasing his album I'm not buying his album I'm sorry uh, there would be enough people to buy his album that he will still reach the number one spot so just need to appreciate what I already have and actually use the stuff that I bought because I have this habit bad habit of like trying to save it until it's like okay well I don't want to use it anymore so I just need to use the items that I currently have and just you know go through them like for my albums aside from opening up the album from like the plastic packaging and seeing who I pulled that's about like the extent of like how I used it I need to use it some way and I also have Apple music so I stream all of their music all the time so it doesn't make sense for me to have the CD for for no reason but I also started journaling again um, I found uh, journaling as a space for me to talk to myself and just check in to see how I'm doing when I was really scrolling on social media and like trying to keep up with the news like I wasn't checking in on myself my brain is just filled with all these information that I could possibly handle sometimes I just need a place to just dump my thoughts in paper and I usually feel better after I have journal because sometimes when I do reread it it's like oh my god this is so inconse inconsequential to the grand scheme of things and it also just brings me back into like where I'm really trying to go with life and what my values are I always tell myself like why do I stop like journaling when journaling has given me so much benefit so i also have tried to read more books um, i'm behind on my reading goal but that's okay i'm not punishing myself i'll read however many books i can read namjoon is a big reader and i i really like that for him because i have so i have some of the books that um he has read before or like have talked about i have a t like a namjoon tbr and i just want to go through that tbr if he ever has like a book club at some point i would love to join that he had talked about you know getting inspiration from the books that he has read so i really am very interested on like the the books that this man has read before so i need to go through those books. I, I've read some of them already. I've also read some of the books that Yoongi has read that he hasn't talked about in the past. There is an overlap between like the, the book list between Namjoon and uh, Yoongi but it's like interesting. I feel like the books that Yoongi has read are more related to mental health and he has been kind of vocal about that like you know with his mental health struggles. I am interested in reading his like book list as well so I think that would be like a better use of my time trying to read the books that you know they have read before i also constantly remind myself that i am enough that i shouldn't attach my self-worth whether i know this much information about them or whether or not i own like a certain merchandise that they had released it doesn't make me more or less of a fan if i have something or know something or not and i think that's just basically like the big picture of this is it's basically knowing your worth and, and not like attaching it to some external thing appreciating them should just be like you know i enjoyed their art and i was able to relate to this and i think that's like a healthier way of being a fan like i still really enjoy like the fandom culture because like you really connect with other people based on like their music i'm also willing to accept that okay maybe this was a phase in my life again there's like a joke going on about how okay this is like bts is really not a phase in my life but it, it's okay if it is because you know change is good this is like a phase in my life i think it is important for me to like recognize like the lessons that i learned from this season of this life and just kind of let go of the things that doesn't really serve me or doesn't really work for me anymore i think if i just accept being like in this space for however long i think it, it will just stagnate my growth and that's not where i want to be i want to keep growing how can i be a better person i'm not regretting the time that i've spent with my excitement or i guess it's like borderline obsession with bts like i had a great time but i do it the same way again as i did looking back now probably not i'm aware of the bad habits i'm making more of a conscious effort now and setting some better boundaries for myself so i don't find myself spiraling through my bad habits again and i think it's just important to always check in with yourself and like know what your values are where you want to be what kind of lifestyle do you want sometimes it's just easier to get lost in the noise to get lost in like the constant like stream of information that you kind of forget to check in with yourself 
like what do you want instead of like what what other people want i'll talk to you guys on my next video and i'll see you later bye